Let's hold that one. Attack me from the back. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Yonan Amite and welcome back to Dying Light the following. Right, so the last episode didn't went quite well. I died in the volatile trial. That was quite, to be honest, to be expected since the place is actually quite hard to deal with. But worry not, I haven't given up yet. No sir. I'm gonna grab some supplies, we're gonna clear up down. And after that we're gonna hit the, uh, the hive once again. I think there's a hive actually not too far from here. There's one hive. Is there any other hive? There's one hive over here as well. Wait, there was a quest for the hives, I think. Which one it was? Down there a bit hole. Was it this one? Oh, it's, 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 for this, it's for this hive. Okay. I just wonder where's the actual entrance. Is this is from this place? Vulcan's body. Oh, Vulcan's body? So we can think you can actually try to do this one. Uh, last time I tried to destroy this one, but it haven't end up well. And apparently, there are two hives in the same place, in this one, but uh, because there's the the, the railroad tunnel over here, and apparently those are two nests. This counts as, as two nests. And for some un unknown reason, to me, the the volatile, the the upgraded volatile have uh, spawned there, the ultimate one, the one that is actually quite hard to kill, and I don't know why it has spawned. So yeah, I just have to count that. This time it, it won't actually spawn. So, let's get some fuel. Because I need fuel! I need more fuel! I'm gonna... You've got to be fucking shitting me. Good. Get the fuck... Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I understand. You want the fuel as well. Fine with me, bro. Fine with me. Just go and take it. Fuck you. Yeah, so actually, this is quite interesting. Uh, because how do actually the volatiles spawn? How they are born? Because... Like in the previous, well, when I was playing the vanilla game, I always thought that the volatiles are like the next phase of of of, uh, of evolution of the Haralan virus. But apparently, this is not the case. This is not how it works. It's not like you are becoming the the biter and then you slowly evolve into the volatile. No. Apparently, how it works is that the volatiles breed. If you remember Sabit from I think two episodes ago, or three episodes ago, he was like attached to the ground and he was screaming and yelling in agony. Are you there? No. Well, for sure he's somewhere. You guys again. What's up? We have a new plan. It's brilliant. We're waiting at the railway If they have a new plan, then I'm actually scared of their new plan. The secret project, easy. If that is an easy quest, I'm not gonna do it. Because reasons. I have better stuff to do. So yeah, as I was saying, the volatile actually breed. They do not they do not evolve from from, from other zombies. They breed somehow. I did this is completely unknown to me how this is actually performed. But yeah, and also if I remember correctly back in the vanilla game, there was that stuff that uh, if you if a night hunter attacks you, his job was to kill the survivors. While the survivors had to do something with the with the nests, and the nests were also kind of like breeding volatiles. So I'm okay. This is the nest. I kind of wonder how much is, is it is fucked if I try to go here during the during the day. Let me just scan the area and see. Oh. Oh, that's like three of them, straight away. Okay, maybe going here on the on nightmare difficulty is not the brightest of my ideas. Why are you doing why are you supposed to do the volatile hives at night? It is because if you try to do it at, at daytime, all the freaking volatiles will be inside. They they are scared of, of the sun, they are scared of the UFO, so basically what they do they hide in tunnels, in, in caves, sewers probably. And they they're waiting till 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 night time. Nighttime hits and they go out for hunting. So while they'll be on hunting, we'll be going <laughs> inside of the house and shitting on the doorstep. Anyway, yeah, so let's go see the Vulcan guy, because apparently his body is here, but I don't have any quest attached to this to this to this marker, so I don't know. Is this is like an optional thing or or, or this is actually a, a thing? Or if I have to return maybe the body back to the to the too much scientist. God damn it, another spitter. Jesus. Oh. Shit. 
Okay, okay. Seriously, I hate those guys, especially when they are like and they just, and they start to spitting like like a machine gun. How about you go smile? Oh, shit, can't hit him if he shut up phone. Okay, I've hit him. Somebody would probably suggest that I should like turn on off the phone while I'm recording. Well, yeah, pork and death mask. It's probably okay. dull. A billionaire killed because he had really nice shoes. Yeah, now he has shocky, sucky shoes. And this is how we end. If you are like billionaire, stay away from, from zombie apocalypse, mate. <laughs> it's gonna get you killed. Okay. So now. Now we need to wait for the night. In my last attempt when I was trying to do the volatile file, was it like possible for me to use the, the UFO flowers? Would that give me anything? Well, the ultimate volatile attacked me back then. And from what I know, the ultimate volatile is not, not scared of the of the light. He she just ignores. It. Yeah, if you if you are standing near the base then he may be may be scared, but he he's not affected by the by the flowers in any way. So I'm actually wondering, is there any way to defend myself from those upgraded ones? I, I don't know, maybe I should have dedicated one episode just to try to fight with those guys, like outside of, of security of, of our settlement. That would be freaking cool actually. Okay, uh, just didn't want to something from me, so as I am added, I think I can speak with him. Uh, look for Esgi, talk to the brother Snow, Heart of Darkness. What exactly do you want from me? The gut ring. Oh, this thing. Okay, so this is like a part of the main quest. Okay. Here, there was one cryptic message. I didn't want to get into details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we all were. He was military. And he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. That's a military keycard. I mean, if it's properly authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Well then, here, you take it. Maybe it'll help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look for. Yeah, thanks, Jazir. Military card. Military card. Okay, so this sounds interesting because... Uh, I think when I was, like, doing the quest at the beginning of the game... Oh, there's a dropping comic. Yeah, dropping comic. Eat my car. Need it now. Give me my car. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Jump over the fence, get over the car. Forgot to fix it, but screw it. And let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't hit the freaking gate every single time. Right, so uh, when I was like, I think in the first episode or the second episode, when I was recording, I think, I'm not sure about that. There was that thing uh, on the highway with the with the mad Texas guy from Kansas or whatever that guy is from. There was like this this big ass military chest, like really big one. But I couldn't do anything with it. So I'm kind of wondering, is this actually a thing for the for that chest, like this key card? So I'm supposed to go back there and try to open it now. Hmm. Okay, so the faces are actually giving me quests right now. Okay, let me just... I, as always, I was too late to the, to the chest because my car was damaged. So, yeah, I have to fix the car for the for the next uh, next attempt of actually going there for the, for, the, for, the, for the chest run. Okay, how about... You take an arrow in the eye, and you take an arrow to the head. Who threw me? Dude, you have a zombie behind you. How about you take care of that one, huh? Does that sound like a plan for you? Stop throwing shit at me. Dude, smile, 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 smile. There we go. Open, 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 open. Take this stuff. Take this stuff. Search his body. Repair. You can't repair it? Oh yeah, because it's, it's broken completely. Okay, let me just set any part. Repair the other thing. Okay. Uh, can't repair it? What? Oh, apparently I can't repair it. Okay, just gonna pull the weaker one for now. I'm actually thinking about acquiring like 
the best possible equipment for my car and trying to, to equip it into it and see how, how the car will perform then I'm just that's why I'm not using the best stuff I have because I'm currently using the car just for traveling between places not for actual combat so I think that's that's okay but after a while oh after a while I think I actually have to like put better stuff into it like upgraded fully upgraded engine brakes handling and the acceleration and some nitro okay on side of here and drop the car. Okay. So. So, uh. Yeah. We're gonna go sleep to the night. And then we're gonna go try to get to the. to the hive. Hold your fingers, guys. Because I am about to die. Okay, scan the place. Now, what is the thing? There it is. Go, 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 go. Wait, I'm gonna actually put the quest there. Yeah, I'm doing the quest in the middle of nowhere. That's probably. The best fucking idea I have so far in the game. Okay. No. Shit. Already started? Oh, this is bad. Now, the idea is that I have the, the flashlight turned on, but I have to actually, like, turn it on off soon. Because this thing actually attracts zombies into me. Why the hell I cannot find, like, one abandoned zombie? Like, just one? So I can actually, like, just grab the... The, 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 the camouflage thing and run? No. All of them have to be, like, in packs of 30. Shit, is that guy? Is that guy? Yes, this place is full of volatiles. Jesus Christ. They are like hunting outside of this of the human settlement. Jesus crying. Also, I kinda wonder why does the upgraded volatile not just oh <laughs> shit. Knew it, knew it, knew it. Wait, I have an idea. Since the upgraded volatile is already healed. Wait, that was the normal one, I think. What kind of volatile was it? It was a normal one. So how, how about we actually kill that guy and use it for for the, for our purpose? Okay. Oh Jesus! Oh you so, sneaky son of a bitch! How about you go and shit missed like next to his head? There we go. I do that. Hope so. Okay. I hope for the best. Uh oh. Oh shit. I fucking knew it! The upgraded volatile can detect me even though I am camouflaged. Plan B, go around. Shut up! Go around, go around, go around as fast as possible. I, I kinda just hope that I won't have to de dedicate a full episode just for the for the volatile hive. Cause that'll be. Shit. Is that the normal one? Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Not move, not move. Maybe he won't spot me. No, he, was, he got scared by the UFO light. Jesus! Stop fucking scaring me! Pick this thing, get camouflage once again because I, I don't know. Just because. And let's get on the run. Some people will probably be like, you should upgrade your car, get the UFO light and actually like go YOLO. Yeah, probably yeah, but I prefer the silent approach anyway. Shit. 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 There goes my silent approach. Okay. Uh, I think it's just inside here. Somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Go. Go, go, go. Fuck it. We're gonna take a zombie inside of this. We have 11 minutes. More or less. Are you shitting me? Those are volatiles or those are zombies? No, seriously. Those are volatiles? They don't look like. Okay. Now I need to kill them. One by one and try to get my camouflage thing once again. That's a volatile behind him, I think. No, that's a runner. Here we go. Oh, the water is not too deep enough. This is actually good. I wanted a zombie. The zombie came to me. Okay, just hope that the bullet I won't actually come here. You, shut up. Okay, that's another one. That's another one zombie, so nothing scary. He's just upgraded because the night came. That is completely fine with me, no problem. Can I use you? No, I can use you. Okay. Use the camouflage thing. Get to the texture because why not? And get the hell on work. Okay, think, think. Uh, where's the. This is here? No, wrong place. The layer is actually somewhere here. And I just went to the water and washed my entire camouflage thing off me. God damn it! 10 minutes. Need to hurry! 
need to hurry, hurry, hurry. Get up, get up. Thank you God for the grappling hack. Shit. Okay, we're inside. Any zombies inside? That's a runner. Okay. As long as it's not a violent island, I'm fine. Shut up! Another one. The runners are the most annoying one. Like, I... The, the, the volatiles are just, just, just dangerous, but those are the annoying ones. Shut up! Jesus. Okay. Come across once again. Okay, we need to move. We need to move fast. Where's my crossbow? Go. I have to deal with this stuff. Okay, there's one. Somewhere there. I don't see him. Just okay. There's there's the guy. Let me take this. I wonder if I kick, kill it through the through the crossbow, will he actually like get angry on me? No, they did not. Okay, so the crossbow is away also. So this is probably the next one. That'll be two. Uh, no, this guy. Shit, don't move. I'm just looking for volatiles. That's, that's the... I don't want any volatile to, to spawn on my face. Take the camouflage. And there's the last one, I think. Okay. What the hell is going on? Okay. The volatile didn't die. Are you serious? How hard is this guy is to kill? Oh my fucking god. I'm gi I'm aiming at your head, right? He died. That's for sure, he now died. This, this is still not over. Okay, look for more. Shut up! Shut up! Okay, there's... I think one more. Somewhere. No here. I wonder where's the last volatile. Is it here? No. It's probably somewhere there. I haven't noticed me yet. <laughs> That's cool. That's completely fine. Uh oh. Hi guys. How uh how's stuff? Cool I hope. How about you guys fuck yourself? I'm just gonna go and deal with your friend over here. That was probably not the smartest idea, but fuck it. Yeah! Okay, this has been cleared. Now just deal with the remaining zombies. I just hope they won't attack me from the back. Oh my god! <laughs> That's all of them? Hi! How about you go? Die. And you too. Yeah, my camouflage went off. Good thing that I have upgraded this katana. This is probably like one of the best decisions I have made through this playthrough. Kill it! Kill it. Through the legs. Uh, through the legs. Okay, cut in half also works. Uh oh. Shut up! Okay. Also, I'd like to say that when the camouflage is on, the place is way more nice here to look at because they yeah, are disgusting as hell. Anomalies. Wait, what, what's what's the, the quest with the anomalies? Oh, it's over here. Oh shit, that's way, 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 way too far away from me. Okay, maybe I'll actually try to get to the edge of. I'm not sure is this actually a good idea. But I can. Tr uh oh, I can at least try. Get away. Just hope there's no volatile over here. So far, so good. Okay, go. Run, 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 Turn on the flashlight. Just gonna spam it. And look for one zombie. I need one zombie. We need one zombie. Oh. Shit. Is that a normal one or... Upgraded one. Jesus, I don't see. Risk it and try to shoot it? I think that's a normal one. Shit, I've missed. Okay, go past him. There should be somewhere as normal zombie over here, from what I remember. Or I can try to get to the highway and hide there. 
Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Ooh. Almost. That was close. Get on the highway. Is there a demolisher over here? Yes, it is. Lovely. Love him. Just, I'm gonna go and hug. Oh. Dude, don't do that. Quick. Get the camouflage thing. Jesus. That was close. Okay, fuck you guys. On my move. Just get to the drop on drop zone and we're gonna get lovely. We're gonna have lovely, lovely, lovely emotions and stuff and everything. And keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Okay, the drop is somewhere here. Oh key, how the key? What's with it? What would the with the camouflage think? It, it it's not supposed to went off so so quick. Okay, but I think it's almost daytime anyway. So, and I have survived the night. Oh, hit you, but you're still alive. Come on, just die, just die, just die. Hit you still. Can I kill you? Stay in the back. Don't turn your back on me. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you anyway. Jesus, how hard is this guy to kill? When you are not aiming at his head, it's actually quite hard to hit. Uh, I mean to kill him. God damn it, just die. He's still alive. He's still alive. Yeah, show me where the hive is. That would be actually a cool mechanic if they like did something like this. Like, you don't know where the hives are. Oh, he died. Like, you don't know where the hives are. You have to like go at night, uh, wait till, till, till the sun goes back up and actually follow a volatile to find out where the nest is. That would be a cool mechanic. Techland, think about it. That would be cool. But anyway, uh, yeah, so we have dealt with one of the hives. I'll probably try to do with the rest of them as well in the future episodes, but for now I'm running out of record time. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all in the next video. Cut and... Oh wait, I need to actually target the quest. Uh, where is the rare bitch? Let's go. Get to the rare bitch and save the two mad scientists from killing themselves once again. I kinda like those guys, they, they always have stupid spaces ideas. <laughs>